Jan Rovinaka, and uh, good morning, everybody. Before I begin the official remarks, uh, probably some, some of you don't know this, but I'm actually an IT graduate as well. And spent a bit of my life uh, leading IT teams in terms of transformation. So I have a, a very deep appreciation of what uh, forums like this can bring to countries and uh, also uh, the transformational uh, effect that technology can have on a people and a, and a country. Uh, just, as a, just as a joke, when I was with Fiji Airways, or it was called Air Pacific at the time, uh, when I got in there, we had only, you would not believe this, the staff of about 60 people, we had one PC. <laughs> this was uh, 1996. Um, by the time I left, we had uh, fully integrated uh, systems, uh, financial platforms talking to operational platforms, um, you know, high levels of security settings on all the network. Uh, we even had uh, an internet booking engine, that probably the first in Fiji. And we developed the payment gateway out of Australia. Qantas told us it was going to cost us 10 million, we did it for about 100,000. Uh, so those are just some of the things I thought I'd share before I jump into my uh, formal remarks, I was uh, looking at the program and uh, felt like I should be here for the next two days. But unfortunately, time does not permit. So uh, allow me to begin my formal address. Uh, the CEO of the uh, Australian Information for Indus the Industry Association, Mr. Simon Bush, um, Excellencies, representatives from uh, Amazon Web Services, Salesforce, SAP, Deloitte, the ANZ uh, Leadership Forum, CyberCX, Telstra and Digicel, esteemed uh, delegate partners and speakers, panel members, CEOs, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Bulbinaka and uh, good morning to you all. It is a pleasure to join you all this morning in inaugurating this very important event. On behalf of the Fiji government and the people of Fiji, I would like to welcome you all to a country that we are very proud of. At the outset, I would like to also acknowledge the close collaboration and efforts of the Australia the, uh, AIAA, the Fiji Trade Commission Office in Australia, Outsource Fiji, Austrade, and the Pacific Islands Forum in organizing this event. In today's interconnected world, Digital and technical capabilities are essential drivers of economic growth and social development. They provide opportunities for businesses to expand their reach, access new markets, and increase productivity. For citizens, digital technologies offer, more, offer a more convenient, efficient way of accessing services and engaging with their government. Hence, events such as this are critical for IT players in the industry to discuss and exchange knowledge and experience on the evolving digital technologies. I note uh, Simon's mention about uh, artificial technology assisting him with his speech. It's a bit scary. <laughs> the Fiji government is uh, committed to working with partners such as Australia and New Zealand to build digital capabilities and technical capabilities that will support sustainable economic growth and development in Fiji. To achieve this, we are prioritizing investment in digital government services, connectivity, infrastructure, and cybersecurity. Making government services and information available online makes it easier for citizens to access them and for the government to deliver services more efficiently. By investing in digital government, Fiji is working towards increasing transparency and accountability and improving public trust in government. We have implemented several initiatives which provide the pathway for rapid digital government implementation and is an impetus for our, digital, our growing digital economy. Uh, some of the initiatives, there are quite a few. Um, uh, launching of the electronic profile or e-profile, uh, these are uh, previous government initiatives, so we thank them for, for that. Uh, the development of innovative uh, applications, uh, such as consolidated online government directory, 
in the National Online Feedback System, uh, an online birth registration facility uh, where parents uh, of newborns can actually register their children online and re can request uh, reprints of their birth certificates. The upgrade of the births and deaths and marriages system, I've always had uh, beef with this since uh, uh, the BDM was around and um, you know, now you can actually just wander into a post office and get your birth, certi birth certificate reprinted. Uh, that was not available uh, some time ago. Uh, the Register of Companies uh, has also done automation, uh, which is helping businesses uh, register online. Um, government e-services can now be paid uh, through online payment, uh, and we'll be focusing a lot more on this. Uh, so these are some of the um, initiatives that are currently have been made, and I uh, would like to assure this forum that uh, this will continue. Connectivity is an enabler of digital government services and essential for businesses to have access to fast, reliable internet so they can participate in the global economy and reach new markets. Infrastructure is also critical to the growth of our region's digital capabilities. This includes physical and digital infrastructure such as data centers, broadband networks, and cloud technology. By investing in these, we can create an environment that is supportive of digital business and economic growth. In terms of domestic activity in Fiji, we have 95% internet mobile connectivity through 3G, 4G, and 5G networks, and we are looking at the rolling out of uh, 5G soon. Uh, we are already working hard on identifying and connecting the final 5% of our people who live in remote areas and maritime areas. Uh, and we also have apparently 100% digital coverage. I'm sure if I talk to my um, family in the village, it's uh, sporadic at the best of time, so we need to work on that. Regarding international co connectivity, uh, we are linked to the Southern Cross Cable Fiber Optic Network and also completed the improved Southern Cross Next Cable Network, which offers more speed as re when required. These strategic steps have enabled for rapid digital transformation of various sectors, including government, and is a catalyst for a thriving digital economy. Also, I'd just like to um, note at this juncture that we are happy to, we will be proceeding with this uh, feasibility study on the second cable landing station. Um, talking to some people, uh, this will be a game changer for Fiji, and uh, it is a high priority in terms of uh, uh, my ministry, once built, this will not only ensure domestic redundancy, uh, but to create confidence to international service providers that uh, consider Fiji as a location to house some of their data warehousing and uh, those kind of things. While these new tools and technologies have brought uh, opportunities to leapfrog and overcome traditional challenges, understanding the fast-paced landscape and maintaining and ensuring that these tools and technologies fit our needs is important and has become a challenge. Cybersecurity is an essential aspect of digital development. With the increasing reliance on digital technologies, it is important that we protect our digital assets and infrastructure from cyber threats. This means investing in cybersecurity solutions and building a culture of cyber awareness across the region. We have a Cyber, cyber Crime Act, which is aligned to the Budapest Convention, the only international instrument against cyber crime. And we are reviewing our national cybersecurity strategy to strengthen our national framework and further encourage investment in IT. We are also actively participating in the UN Cyber Crime Ad Hoc Committee, which is looking into a UN instrument for cyber crime and the UN Open-Ended Working Group on Security of and in the Use of Information and Communication Technologies. Fiji is currently facing the added challenge of a mass departure of its IT experts, causing a significant brain drain, brain drain or brain drain issues. This is a matter of concern to the nation, as the loss of highly skilled professionals 
in the IT sector can have serious implications for our economic growth and competitiveness. Finding solutions to retain and attract our highly skilled professionals in the IT industry is a priority. To do this, we must create an environment that supports the growth and the development of the sector and provides attractive and competitive opportunities for our IT professionals. This means investing in education and training and creating an enabling environment for businesses to grow and innovate so that the IT industry can provide high quality, high paying jobs for our citizens. The new government will be undertaking a review of our education system and its institutions. This will, include, this will include assessing our capacity to train skills in IT and telecommunications. Fiji, the Fiji government is currently negotiating the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework or, framework, or IPEF, which has digital economy as a vital component in the framework. Creating an enabling environment for businesses to grow and innovate. The, um, in, that, uh, in, the, in the framework, there is a great focus on STEM, uh, which is science, technology, engineering, and maths, under the IPF agreement. And the Fiji government is keen to enhance and engage with the private sector to encourage STEM-type programs in Fiji. Uh, one large uh, mobile uh, uh, provider is currently working with the Ministry of Education uh, on an, a STEM initiative, and it involves um, a competition with uh, 1,500 students uh, encouraging innovation in IT. Uh, hopefully that will grow out this year, and it will be an excellent way in uh, providing a platform for our children uh, as, the, as we try and uh, capture this wave of uh, technology advancement. According to Statistica.com, the worldwide full-time employment in the ICT sector was 53.3 million in 2020, which was an increase in 3.9 from 2019. It is also expected to further increase in 2023 to approximately 62 million people employed in the IT, ICT sector globally. That is why forums such as these are critically important to ensure that the knowledge gap is bridged, digital skill, gets, skill sets are further developed, and we strengthen the networks of current and upcoming leaders. I cannot overemphasize the importance of that. A Microsoft study show, has shown that by 2025, the global workforce is on the brink to add an, another 149 million new technology-oriented jobs with emerging fields such as cloud and data roles, privacy and trust, software development, cybersecurity and data analysis, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. Four things come to mind when I see these numbers. The growth opportunities that exist, the importance of continuous investment in building and maintaining such uh, capabilities, uh, particularly in our education system, how this will be crucial to meet the demands of this evolving landscape, which cuts across all sectors, such as BPO, manufacturing, health, agriculture, and education, just to name a few. And more importantly, Fiji's important role as a genuine ICT hub for the Pacific region. It is only fitting that at the beginning of the new year, we take stock and think about what are the digital priorities for this year. We are further building on these as we move towards a digital era the Fiji government, as the driver of the digital economy, will continue to uplift its digital capacity. But it must be with the support of the private sector. So it is vital that we hear from you on how we can support the economy with digitalization. It is without doubt, without a doubt, that many micro, small, medium enterprises have adopted the use of digital technology in their business. 
and uh, I'm encouraged that uh, some of you are here today. As I mentioned earlier, at the end of the day, digital tools and technologies will need to be designed, maintained, and enhanced by individuals to align to evolving needs. We need, target, we need targeted digital capabilities to turbocharge and sustain our digital transformation journey. Our digital development investments must continue in both government and in the private sector. In closing, I must say that this forum is a great way to collaborate, build capacity around new and emerging technologies, and discuss ICT trends. I would like to see more of these types of events organized in the coming months and maybe years to facilitate and engage in dialogue and share knowledge on the, evolving, the new evolving technologies between government and the private sector. For those of you who are visiting Fiji for the first time, I want to encourage you to enjoy the Fijian hospitality and some of its sites before you leave our shores. I wish you well in your deliberations and discussions as we continue to grow our pool of digital leaders. And with great pleasure, I would like to uh, declare this uh, event open.